thanks around town this morning and we are looking into something sweet. Yeah, there we are. Good day Columbus's Cameron Fontana joins us live this morning. Cameron, we're hearing an awful lot of buzz oh. about a certain oh. festival going on. There's a lot of buzz and it's also a B E E beautiful day. Did you see what uh, I did there? Uh, yes. We're getting ready for the Lithopolis Honey Fest. It is the eighth annual, and this is Barry with Conrad Hive and Honey, one of the organizers of the event. How excited are you for we're, the festival? We're ready. This is the eighth annual, and it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Bigger and better. And you have some new things. There's a couple things we're going to do this morning. Tell us about that. Well, we have the new honey show uh, this morning. We're going to talk about food. We're going to do a little quiz bowl, see what you know about bees. Ooh. And we're going to introduce the American Honey Princess, who's going to do a bee beard live. Uh, be the American Honey Princess is doing a be uh, bee beard. That is correct. And she's actually here. She doesn't know I'm about to do this, but she's right over there. Look at her wave. She's going to be on a little bit later. Oh, she's getting ready. She is bee fearless. She just loves bees, doesn't she? She does. And she Great. travels the whole country promoting the honey industry and honey bees. Great. So stay tuned to Good Day Columbus all morning long. We're going to be buzzing around and hanging out with these little guys right there. And we're going to find the queen bee, not Beyonce, but the real queen bee right here. Back to Thanks. you in the studio. Thanks, Cameron. Well, it it's appropriate too, since it is Beyonce's birthday. It is today. Beyonce's birthday. Yeah. Well, September is National Honey Month. Oh, okay. Did you know that? Oh, now so, I do. Of course, we need to celebrate. And Good Day Columbus is Cameron Fontana is doing just that. He's around town this morning at Honey Fest in Lithopolis to show us the best way to celebrate. What's going on, Cameron? Good morning. Yes, we're at Conrad, Conrad Hive and Honey getting ready for the Honey Fest. It's happening tomorrow and Saturday. What hours? Uh, tomorrow on Friday, it's from uh, 1 till 8. Saturday is from 9 till 7. Free parking, free admission, free shuttle. And it's going to be a buzzing time, isn't it? It is. It's going to be a great time. So we're talking so. about honey this morning, sweet things. These, look at all these different types of honey. What are the most popular here? Well, uh, you know, our specialty is this cream honey, but uh, there will be 10 honey vendors at the Lithopolis Honey Fest from all over the state, and they all have different honeys. Uh, honey from different counties tastes different. So you can eat your way through the Honey Fest, taste honey from all over the state of Ohio, different kinds from water white honey to dark black honey that's wow. from buckwheat. Wow, you can see the color just changes from all the way from light to, all, to black. Yeah, and that's buckwheat. Very, wow. It's the most nutritional honey made in the United States. And a lot of us will have comb honey. Ooh. And you're going to taste some comb honey here in a minute. Yes, because right over here we have our very special guest. This is Elena, the American Honey Princess for 2014. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, how honored are you to be the queen or the princess bee of them all? Very honored. Um, I actually have 22 hives at my house in Pennsylvania, so it's a big deal for me. I really love bees. Oh, <laughs> you love bees. And so, okay, I didn't want to eat alone. Barry, what do we have right here? What are we going to taste real quick? Well, this is one of the new things this year at the Honey Fest. It's what they call a bee pack. Okay. And uh, the bees uh, build the comb uh, and honey right in this little container. And so you just take a some and you Whoa, can taste wait, it like that. Can you zoom in on that, Edwin? Look at this. So do and another scoop. When you talk about raw honey, Alina, take a scoop there. When you talk about raw honey, this is as raw as it gets. This wow. totally untouched by human hands. Oh my the goodness. The bees build the honey right in there. And you can eat the wax. It actually takes toxins out of your body when so when the it goes wax to your body. is good to eat. Mm -hmm. Not like candles, though. You don't want to be chewing on candles all no, day long. No, no, okay. chew on the candles. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just light those. It's delicious. So coming up next, we're going to talk some more about what you can do to enter a competition for baked goods, right? That's correct. Ooh, stay tuned. We're getting sweet all up in here at the Honey Fest, getting ready for it, and we'll end with that shot right there. Look at that. That is be made, made local, pretty much, right? Right. So yeah. tomorrow, nice. be there. Be there. Be there. Nice, Be there. nice. Okay. Thanks, Cameron. 849 now on your Thursday morning, Friday Eve, and our buddy Cameron Fontana has found himself in a bit of a sticky situation this morning, but in a good way. He's live at the Lithopolis Honey Fest. A little preview this morning. Cameron, how's it going? It's going great. It is such a sweet morning on Good Day Columbus. We're talking honey. We're talking bees, queen bees. Of course, we want to wish Beyonce a happy birthday, the queen bee. But we're with Carmen with Conrad Hive and Honey, and this is really cool. Tell us about this, Carmen. Um, it's just a bottling tank. We uh, hold the honey in here until we're ready to bottle it. We like to have the, uh, the honey nice and fresh so we don't bottle too far in advance. Wow. And, uh, so let's get this going. And while you uh -huh. guys can see, this is going to look so amazing. You actually have a bake-off competition coming up, we right? We do. And the great Whoa. thing is, it is not too late. 
Um, you can bake tomorrow and bring it by 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. There's no entry fee. There's no pre-registration. Just get on our website at lithopolishoneyfest.com and you that. have to use some great honey in the recipe, about 50%. The rules are right there on the online, bringing in great cash prizes. Ooh, so you have to have, half of it has to be, like half of it made right. with honey, right? Right, half of the sweetener has to be oh, okay. uh, honey. Look at that, and look how good that looks. And over here next to me is the American Honey Princess. And if you can see the photo right there, coming up in the next hour, she is going to be putting a bee beard on, is that yes, correct? the beard of bees. The beard of bees. Now that, that would win November for a No Shave November, wouldn't it? I think it would. It takes it to a whole new level when you got a beard of bees. And coming up next, we're gonna do some bee quizzing, right? Yes. We're gonna take some questions about some bees that you can find at the Honey Fest. So Carolyn, we're gonna throw it back to you, and I might be, bring some back to you because this is almost as sweet as you are. Oh, you know what? You're the best. Thanks. I would appreciate that. It really is pretty too, pretty jar. Speaking of graceful, Cameron Fontana is in Lithopolis this morning. It's almost honey fest time. Question for you. Do you know what the three different types of honeybees in the hive are? Do you know? I do. Of course you do. Do you think I know? We'll see. We'll have to see. We're doing some bee trivia coming up next, getting ready for the Lithopolis Honey Fest. Be here. Cameron Fontana buzzing around town this morning. Yes, he is. He's getting ready for Honey Fest in Lithopolis. He's been there all morning, and now he's very close to bees. Very close. Yes. Good morning. Look at all these bees. Now, before the break, we had a question for our viewers. The question was, what are the three different types of honeybees that are in a hive? Elena, yes. the American honey princess, what is the correct answer for our viewers? There is the queen, the worker bees, and the drone bee. And the drone bees. Okay, so we have some more trivia, and we want you to play along at home right now as you're watching. Give me some questions. All right, what is the most valuable contribution to man from the honeybee? Honey. No, pollination. Dang it. Okay, I'm 0 for 1. Go, next question. All right. Nectar is the carbohydrate source for the honeybee. What is the protein source? Protein, I'm going to guess pollen. Correct. Woo, one and one. So these questions, we're doing this trivia because it's something new this year at the Honey Fest. Tell us about that. Um, we're doing something called the Quiz Bowl, and it's going to be on the educational stage. And if you listen to presentations um, on before Friday night, like earlier in the night, you'll get to hear some uh, possible answers to the Quiz Bowl. And there's actually going to be prizes for whatever wow. team wins. But it's adults versus children. Adults versus children. Okay, give me one more question. Let's see if I can get it. All right. How many times can a honeybee sting? Once, because it dies, right? Yes, correct. Now, we were talking about this earlier because the guy bees are kind of funny mm -hmm. because they're only, good, they, they're only good for one thing. Yes. What is that? They mate with the queen. They're only good to mate with the queen. And what happens after they mate with the queen? <laughs> they die. They die. So that's all they're good for. Yes. Oh. They're really, really lazy. They don't even have a stinger, so they can't actually sting. It's like, do what you want, what you want with my body, right? Yeah, Lady Gaga. And they don't even have a stinger, so the men can't even protect the hive. hive. It's the women <laughs> protecting it, right? Yep, the women protect it. Those queen, the, women, the bees are all about women power, but coming up next, you're about to put all these bees on your face, right? Yep. Ooh, you don't want to go anywhere. A few thousand. A few thousand <laughs> are going to be on her face coming up after the break. Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. Let's get them on there. Yeah. Oh, no. Really? Our someone special, Cameron, is having a tough time with bees right now. Okay, so far, Cameron, you just got stung and the queen got stung? The queen got stung. Yeah, you know, the, the uh, weather, the atmospheric pressure is messing up the bees somehow. And uh, they're just a, just a little bit feisty this morning. And they're stinging us right over here is Barry. Barry, what's going on right here? Well, we, we got the bees on Arnold, and he's getting ready to do the bee beard. He'll be doing mm -hmm. one, one Saturday and again uh, Friday at the uh, Honey Fest. And the American Honey Queen, she will also have a bee beard this weekend, oh, right? Yes, she sure will. Fantastic. Now look at these bees. For those of you that don't know, everyone's like, oh, why are the why are the boy bees being so mean? Listen, boy bees don't have stingers. These bees are ladies, aren't they? Those are all the girls. And they have the stingers. And he's got, well, we usually do about 10,000 bees on your chin. He's probably got six or 8,000 on there now. Wow. What makes them, years. for people that don't know, what makes them just swarm onto him and stay there? Uh, he has the queen bee under his chin. So right and here the, the is bees, the queen bee. And the bees are attracted to their queen. So they're hanging around their queen. And he's 
Arnold's doing fine. He's not got stung. Wow. And uh, the bees don't want to sting. They, they, they die if they sting. Yeah. So they just want to gather around their queen. They want to be gentle. Yeah. Yeah, most of them are fine. Most of the times when you get stung, it's either they're running into you like that. But coming up, you know, if you check in on our Facebook page, we might try to do this on my face. We're going to play it by ear, aren't we? Yeah, either on your face or your hand. You yeah, my face a, or my might, hand. You might have a handful of bees, a yeah. fist of bees. That, that sounds good. Yeah. Check out our GDC Facebook page. We're going to post the video and pictures on there. We'll throw it back to you in the studio. Doesn't this look awesome, though? Oh, wow. don't get stung. Yeah, again. You don't have to be brave on our account. Good on you. <laughs> Leave that to the pros. Thanks, Cameron. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right before we went on the air, apparently Cameron got stung and so did the queen. Queen who got was it out on there. the lip. On the lip. Oh, poor thing. <laughs>